Hi everyone, thanks for clicking onto my channel, Simply Outdoors with Shauna. Today I'm just in my shop and I wanted to show you a little project that I'm going to be working on in the next few days. Um, I picked up a ammo box. I'm going to make a wood stove out of this ammo box. Now you see that the ammo box is a good size inside. There's lots of little things that we have to do to the box itself to make it ready to be able to burn wood in it. So a very good friend of mine, um, Kyle, will be taking this home with him to do some of the work that I can't do. For today, I just wanted to show you um, the purchase of the ammo box, which I paid $20 for. Pieces that I have so far to start the stove. So I picked up some piping. It's um, exhaust piping. I picked it up at Canadian Tire. So I have three of those that connect together, which makes a four foot pipe, which will be perfect height for my little tent that I take winter camping with. I also picked up a, an adapter. This little adapter will be fixed right into the ammo box. So I can just take my piping and put it directly on. So this will be welded right into the ammo box where it will be stationary and stay. So all these exhaust pipes, $9.99 for each. So for all the piping and the little extension came to $40 and something at Canadian Tire. So I just wanted to show you the prices and what I have in, uh, what I have invested into making my ammo box stove. As I always do, I go to Salvation Armies or Value Village and look for little things that I'm needing for the project because you can get things there cheaper. So I knew that I needed something to set my wood up, something that my wood would go on and the ashes would fall through into an ash tray that I will have in there. Um, so I picked this up for $2.99, which I'll cut to the size that I need to go on the bottom of the ammo box. For the legs, I see these for $3.99. So four of them, and they're threaded, which is really good, that I can thread on the bottom of the ammo box. So I can take the legs off if I want. All in all, so far, right now, I have $80, maybe $75 invested in the stove. Stay tuned and you can see the process of how we make this. Okay everyone, my wood stove, my ammo box wood stove has arrived today. So I'm so excited to show you the, the results. Now, I had a vision that I wanted an ammo box wood stove for my hot tent, but I didn't know how to create it or make it happen. I knew the parts and the look that I wanted and how I wanted to make it, but I didn't have the tools to make certain things work and happen. So a very special friend, Kyle, with amazing ideas, took on this project for me and created what I call a masterpiece. He even designed a front plate for my door, Simply Outdoors with Shauna and my logo. He has where all the chimney exhaust pipes fit into a bracket holding area. So let's get into this and show you the amazing creativity and design that he has put into this. All right, we'll start at the front of the stove. Um, Kyle made a special plate with Simply Outdoors and my logo on it. It can come off because eventually I would like to get a window um, tempered glass to be able to see the fire, or I may do one on the side. I'm not sure yet because I really love the look of the front door. So Kyle made the hinges himself. So the door can come off if I want it to pop off. Made this little clip. Everything is welded out of metal. 
the door latch, the hinges, everything is made by hand. Then when you open it up, it has the rope, the stove rope on the inside. So that is the front. So we'll turn it around to the back, spin it around here. He has a vent venting for the back. When you start your stove, you need airflow. So we put that on the back so I can have airflow from the door and also from the back. You get airflow both directions, which will really start your fire good. One thing that was really special that he kept was this was cut off the front door, the model number of this firebox. He bent all this metal to be able to have this slider. So when you open the ammo box, it's just a little tight because it has, um, you'll see it has the rope. It ha also has the stove rope so it sits snug so it's a tight air seal. So inside, he's made a plate where the, the chimney, so when the fire is here, it redirects the heat for here. So if I have, if I'm doing cooking, it will redirect the heat to here instead of right up the chimney. So he welded that in place. In the chimney that he welded, it's actually exhaust piping. This is an exhaust fitting. So he welded that to the base of the ammo box. He made a little damper, little things that I never would have been able to do. Little damper and also for there I'll make a nice little wooden handle for that. Turn it around to the front. So for all the piping, it was a, they were a little long to be able to fit into the ammo box, and I didn't want to cut any length off of them. I wanted the length to be four and a half feet to go out my hot tent. So we decided not to cut any length. So he made brackets, all made himself. He welded all of these little joints to the ammo box and these just fit in. All three of them fit in nicely and the handle of the ammo box you're able to carry it. So I'll also make I'll also make another little wooden handle to go on to the ammo box so for easy carrying. Now it's not a light, it's not for backpacking this stove, it's for hot tent um, camping. So when you hot tent camp you have either a, a sled that pulls your gear. So this will go on the sled that I have that I pull behind me. I could have went with a lighter stove, um, a titanium stove bought off of Amazon but it would never have been as special as this one. This stove I'll have for a very long time. It's well made. Chimney fits in to the brackets all nicely and I'll show you how they fit on top. This one out. They're all jointed where they just fit into one another. I won't be able to put all of them on because uh, it'll be higher than the ceiling. All right, so this is my spark catcher that goes on top of my chimney. Now, very creative idea. Um, it was funny that Kyle and I both kind of were thinking the same thing. This is a pencil holder that you see on your desk. Um, it's metal. And I, I didn't know how he was going to fit it because I knew it was the diameter was bigger than 
my chimney. So he actually put a clamp, as you can see, on the bottom and just attached it. So it sits on there perfectly to catch the sparks going out the top of. I'll show you what he's done for the legs to attach, which I would do first when I would put it into my hot tent. So I'll just take these off for now. So on the bottom of the stove, he attached the bolts for the, the legs. So they all just screw into the bottom. Now I kind of knew the height of the stove when I was picking out these little legs. that I wanted, if I wanted to sit something underneath to keep it warm, some food, um, water bottles, my boots, socks. So that is ammo box up on its legs. Oh, beautiful look. I'm so amazed with the thought that was put into this project. You guys are going to see this on my next video. Next weekend, I'll be doing a hot tent camp out. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in to my channel. And uh, stay tuned. It's going to be many, many trips with this stove. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.